So welcome back to another episode of Mobile Fridays. This is the show where we take a look at some of the mobile games that are available that are based around football, soccer, you know, that kind of stuff. And uh, we've already tried FIFA Mobile, we've tried PES Mobile, and now I'm trying out Dream League Soccer 2021. Now, the cool thing about this is every app that I do download and play is going to be like the first time for me because I never touched these mobile games, but I thought you might as well have one day of the week trying out mobile games and stuff. At least there's some fresh content on the channel that doesn't revolve around FIFA. If you do enjoy today's video, please leave a like and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more FIFA 21 content. The last time I checked, subscribing is free, so please do so and help the channel out. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some FIFA coins and you understand all the risks surrounding it, check out Mule Factory and use my code VAPEXFOOT for a 5% discount. So yeah, like I said, Dream League Soccer. Let's see some of the reviews. 7,000 ratings, 4.6 average, not too bad there. It's charting at number 42 in the sports section of the App Store. And here's a look at some of the features. So FIFA Pro Licensed Soccer, which means we're going to get some real player names apparently in this app as well. So I'll be keen to check that out. There's also realistic gameplay and fluid controls. Is this going to be better gameplay than FIFA? We're going to have to test that out as well. And sign official FIFA Pro players. All right, so here's an example. You've got Firmino, Lalana, De Bruyne. So real player faces, real names because they're under the FIFA Pro license. So that, that's a good thing as well. So you're not dealing with generic players for most of them. Develop your players and go for glory. And then we've got build your own stadium and facilities. So it looks like there's some uh, different elements to the app. That looks pretty good. Challenge the world with Dream League Live. Maybe that's the online mode. Go global and challenge the world in real time 11 v 11 matches. Recruit scouts, agents and coaches to improve your squad. And that's about it there. All right, so we have to choose a manager here and uh, compare this to FIFA 21 career mode managers. Two different fields there. The graphics department is uh, not the best here so far. We'll pick the guy on the right. It's got some uh, nice sideburns. Reminds me of uh, Elvis Presley. So we'll call him Elvis. Choose your captain. Donnarumma, Umtiti, Bale, Rakitic, Bruno Fernandes. All right, I think I've already found my guy. Kante, Laporte, Lacazette, and Luis Suarez. We have to go with Bruno. Look at that. He's even got the player face. That's not bad. I mean, it does. Uh, it sort of looks like him, but then uh, sort of doesn't at the same time. Um, but it will do the job, I guess. Better than a generic face. You can sort of tell it's him. We'll accept that. Here we go. There's Bruno Fernandes with our manager. Nice cuts in. You don't even get this in FIFA 21. EA, come on, man. A mobile game for free is delivering this stuff. Welcome to the hub. From here, you can play your next match, manage your team, sign players, and much more. Would you like to play your first match now or visit other areas? I think we'll visit other, other areas for now. Congratulations. Here's it. Got to get me on the microtransactions as soon as possible. So we've got the season pass. I'm not getting that. Uh, we've got next fixture, team management, transfers, and my club. Let's see my club. So there's the stadium and facilities. Okay, so you need to upgrade stuff there. So you have to do well. Obviously, this is a game you probably have to grind a little bit. But nice presentation here. We've got the stadium on the left, commercial, training center, medical center, accommodation. Why can't crew mode have something like this as well, where you have different facilities? What does training do? Okay, so obviously you go to train. Commercial. What does that do? So you've got to spend diamonds. So that's the problem. When you try and upgrade stuff, you have to spend diamonds. That's where they get you. It's all microtransactions and stuff, but that's pretty good, man. So transfers, you have to use those coins, and that basically recruits players. So, yeah, I'm not interested in that because I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment. But there's agents and scouts, so obviously you would send out your scouts. Like, it's got a bit of crew mode elements to it, but it's not really crew mode at the same time. It's more like ultimate team, I guess. Obviously, we've got a crap team to start with, 57 keeper. The only good guy is Bruno Fernandes in the midfield. At least we've got Bruno Fernandes. I mean, I'll take him. But I'm not really going to touch anything because I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment. All right, let's just get into a match. That's the main thing here. So we've got Vapex FC versus Barcelos. And uh, let's see how we go. Nice cutscene here. Look at this. Clapping at the fans. Good turnout today. Elvis is managing the team. He's got no gold medals, no silver medals. And uh, Barcelos, let's see what team they've got. Eh, not the best. They haven't got any marquee players there. Graphics are not like Frostbite engine graphics, but it might do the job. I think it looks better than FIFA Mobile, I reckon. Use the control stick to move your player around. Your player will automatically sprint when appropriate. All right, so pretty much these mobile games all have the same sort of uh, controls. This is the low kick button. Use this to pass the ball or for low shots on goal. This is the hard kick button. Use this for shots. This is the lofted kick button. Use this for crosses, long passes, and chip shots. All right, so they're the three controls there. When in possession, swipe on the right in multiple directions to perform a skill move. When the ball is in the air, double tap to attempt a skill shot. 
Now that we've been through the controls, let's get into the match. I remember FIFA Mobile took me like 20 minutes in the training center just to get the controls underway. This just pops up a few things and you already know how to play. Not bad, it's got a, it's got a slow pace to it. But I feel like I'm in control. I mean, okay, that's, that's not a good start, obviously. But yeah, I, I don't like these controls. I mean, it's not the, the app's fault because obviously we're playing on a mobile. But I do love my controller, man. I, I just can't get into this kind of gaming with the, with the touch screen and stuff. I can't get into it. it. I feel like I don't have much control with the analog stick. So if we swipe right, okay, we've got some skill moves. Look at this, Bruno Fernandes. Okay, yep. You've lost possession. Now we'll run through the controls to help you get the ball back. All right. Use the B button to pressure the ball and attempt to dispossess the opponent. Use the A button for a slide tackle. Use the C button to change the active player. Hold down the button to charge the goalkeeper. Let's get back to the action. See? EA, nice. Three simple pop-ups. You already know how to defend. It's not bad, the gameplay. It feels like FIFA and Pez put together for some reason. It's got that Pez tempo, but it feels fluid at the same time. I'll never like this stuff. Let's just have a shot. No, nah, of course. No free kick ref. And that's half time. Let's see the cutscene we get. Okay, no cutscene there. Now the app does feature music and that, and that's why you didn't hear any game sounds from the first half because uh, I didn't turn it off. But of course, now I've turned it off, you'll hear the crowd. You, you can't play that stuff on YouTube, you know, background music and stuff. It just doesn't work. Here we go, here's a big chance. Can we get a first goal of Dream League Soccer? Oh my goodness, no. Nah. I mean, the first chance I ever get. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're dealing with 50 overall players here, but that guy stops running to defend. And that's a terrible shot. Oh, it's actually a corner. I thought it was a goal kick, so that was a good save by the keeper then. Bruno Fernandes whips it in. Oh, the bicycle. That's even worse than the first shot I was talking about. You know what? For a mobile game, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it's not like a FIFA level on, on PS5 or anything like that. But from a distance, it's not bad. Like, even the field has like that degradation feature. Is that what you call it? Degradation? I don't know. But it looks different. Oh, what a chance here. Free kick, I scored. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, now the graphic. Oh, it's a red card too. Captain sent off. And uh, yeah, I mean, you get little cutscenes, but they're not long enough like a FIFA type of thing. Look at that, nice substitution one. At least the, the sub board works properly. Some of your players are getting tired. You should bring on a substitute, okay. To do this, pause the game and enter team management. All right, so we pause that. Go to team management. We'll bring in this guy. So here we go. Urbanski comes on for Baptiste. And Bruno Fernandes is going to line one up. I do not know how to take free kicks in this. So how do I change the camera angle? I do not know. So if I score this, I'll be the best Dream League player in uh, all of YouTube land. Okay, no, he did it automatically. No, give me give me like a minute to sort out the controls of the game. What is, why do they have automatic kicks? I don't understand. I didn't even tap anything. What a waste of a chance. Give me more than 20 seconds to decide how I'm going to take this free kick. Now the question is, can you hook up a Xbox controller to this app? Now, I'd love that because it would make it so much easier, but I don't think you can. Audio controls. Can we put a controller? I don't think so. Bansky. Nice through ball. Working it well. Go down the line, son. Oh, no. Okay, it's still in. It's still in. Keeper's not going to get there. Oh, he does well. It's a corner kick. Bruno Fernandez whips it in. Oh, good chance. Couldn't connect with it properly. Here we go, another cutscene there. No issues there. I mean, you're not going to get FIFA Frostbite Engine graphics in this game, but it's a mobile game. It's got to be designed for all kinds of devices. Play through. Nice. Now we've got to score, please. Here's Viner. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Oh, my goodness. I just I tapped it. I literally tapped it, and he skyrockets it. can't believe we haven't scored today. I can't believe it. Nice header. It's going to fall to one of our guys there. Go yourself, son. Play your fruit. We have to score here, please. Oh, he's got no pace. Good work, good work. Last chance. Nah, ref blows for full time. Nil or draw. We had a few chances. There's your graphics. I mean, it looks like... <laughs> it looks like... I don't know. I really don't know. Because the trees don't even look like trees. But uh, what, what's the end goal of this game? I don't even know. What, what's the end goal? What are, you, what are you working for? Are we playing online? Okay, so there's a career mode. Uh, so it sort of is a career mode. Your chance to build the best team on the planet. There's exhibition, complete in a friendly offline exhibition match. There's also Dream League Live and Highlights. Okay, so career mode must mean that you can, you know, just play games against other clubs around the world and upgrade your facilities and stuff. That's what it sounds like to me, which is not bad. I mean, I like to have single player options as well. I don't like games that are just online only. And that, that's what PES Mobile was and FIFA Mobile. So it's nice that this gives you facilities and stuff that you can upgrade. But if you want to play exhibition, you can't pick from clubs. 
You just have to use your team from, I think, career mode or something that you, you earn and then you verse the other teams around. Yeah, I, I guess it is what it is. I know what I'm sort of working for here. You have the chance to play career mode or online and stuff, but really it's about building your dream squad over time. And of course, there's going to be microtransactions if you really want to use them and stuff. It's not bad. The gameplay is actually pretty smooth. It feels like FIFA and PES sort of put together. But of course, it's a mobile experience, so graphics are not going to be 100%. But it does feature some nice little things here and there that you might enjoy coming from a free game. Like the graphics from a distance here, the field and stuff, doesn't look too bad. Like they've done a decent job, and a lot of people have downloaded and played this app over the years as well. So it must be doing something right. So I just used my scouting crew mode and he found two new players. They gave it to me for free, the scout. I didn't use any coins or anything. But basically, you have to use the scout to find discounted players. And obviously, you need the coins to buy those players as well. These guys don't really look too exciting, but the whole point is to build up your squad. We'll sign Rafinha. He's the better player, but he's going to cost a lot. It doesn't matter. I'm never going to probably play this again. But it does increase your uh, club rating, I believe. So currently, we've got a 59.6. And there you go. Nice little cutscene here. Even... Even... um. Dream League Soccer has a nice little cutscene for new signings. Crew mode, they have like an animated GIF or something, I don't know. But yeah, you get the point. It's basically Ultimate Team, but like career mode version, where you have to build up your squad. You don't have like a Man United team that you start with and then you play career mode like that. You pretty much have like a dream squad and you have to sign players to keep bettering your team and stuff. And there we go. We've got Fernandez and Rafinha controlling the midfield there. That's Dream League Soccer. Quick look at it. If you want to try it out yourself, you can. It's a free download. And uh, you might enjoy it, I don't know, at least try out the gameplay maybe. I tried hooking up a controller, it doesn't work, so I couldn't use that. Now if you want to help support the channel, at the moment I'm doing mystery football jerseys, and I only use the latest season kits, so you're not going to get any old stock in a package. Check out the link in the description if you want to pick up a mystery jersey today. But if you did enjoy today's video, leave a like for me, make sure you subscribe for more Mobile Fridays. Please make sure you check out this card in the middle, it'll take you straight to another FIFA video. I'll see you next time.